The pandemic has taken its toll on kids and teens across the country. A national poll done by Michigan University suggesting that one in three teen girls and one in five teen boys have experienced new or worsening anxiety. 46% of parents say that their teens have shown signs of new or worsening mental health conditions since last March. Mary Jo Ola talked with some Wisconsin teenagers about their experiences in the pandemic, along with a therapist on ways to cope. 16 year old Sahil Shah and 18 year old Sarah Boer look back on life during a global pandemic. Both are students at Menominee Falls High School. Like schools across the country, Menominee Falls closed last spring based on the evolving concerns surrounding COVID-19. During the summer or late spring, it really started to hit me. Um, I miss my friends. I miss talking to people. Uh, school was hard for me because I don't learn very well virtually. The normalcy of being a teen was gone and the days were filled with uncertainty. It's been really tough to miss out on a lot of different experiences that I've been looking forward to. We didn't have our junior prom, senior year, the start of it was a lot different. No homecoming, football games look different. Maya Harris is a licensed social worker and child and family therapist with Children's Wisconsin. She says the pandemic has been traumatic. And when we deal with a trauma, we have a lot of symptoms related to trauma, such as feeling sad, feeling anxious, feeling uncertain, um, a sense of hopelessness sometimes. So we've seen all of that with, with kids and teens. Harris believes the lack of connection is causing these trends. While we have social media and virtual learning, it's not the same as in person. What we're seeing is troubling, but there has been some good. Hopefully, again, us all being able to be more open about our feelings, open about uh, conversations uh, about what we need. Uh, so kids being able to say, you know, I need to see my friends or I need to have connections with people. For Sahil, talking with friends through video games, getting outside, playing soccer and basketball all helped him cope with the pandemic. I really enjoyed spending time with family too. That was, I would say that was like the biggest impact. The best part of the pandemic is spending more time with family. Sarah says pre-pandemic, her days were packed from start to finish with clubs and sports. When the world slowed down, so did she, working on self-care, hanging out with family and journaling. I now know how to regulate my time, how to find some balance, take the time to be with my family, take the time to care for myself. So if there's been a silver lining, it's been that. Both students feel optimistic about the future. As we wrapped up our interview, Harris left us with this quote by Maya Angelou as we move forward. No matter what happens or how bad it seems today, life does go on and it will be better tomorrow. Harris encourages families to share their feelings, understanding that this time has been tough on everyone in some way. She advises finding healthy ways to cope by doing more of what brings you joy, whether it's reading, dancing or sports. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. So we posted a poll last week asking if you would prefer your students learn at school or at home. Well, 82% told us they would prefer their kids to go back to the classroom. The vaccination site at